guys, it's Andrea. I'm back for another Sew With Me. This is for the pre-cuts block of the month that comes in our pre-cut quilt box subscription. I'll link pre-cut quilt box shop. <laughs> pre-cuts quilt shop down below in the description box if you want to check it out. I'm loving her block of the month. This is June's. Isn't it pretty? She's using Lori fabric as well. But y'all know I love that. I'm using my Lori stash. I've got my pieces cut up here. Oh, my stomach is really hurting today. Whew. Oh, okay. Simmer down now. Let me get this adjusted. Okay, first up, looks like we're making flying geese. Make these guys out of white, green, and blue. Green and blue are going to be on the white. There's green and blue. Obviously, I wasn't prepared. So sorry. <laughs> okay. So green and blue flying geese units are going to be on the background color. So right sides together. Corner to corner down the middle of the blue and green. I'm going back and forth just so I don't use too many colors on one. cut these apart and trim and press. This is my quilt on the side. I'm still working on that um, Irish chain that I use as leaders and enders on occasion. I don't think I heated up my iron. Nope, it's cold. Okay, trim. I'm feeling low motivation today. I'm feeling very lazy today and my belly hurts really bad today. But the show must go on. I cannot. 
afford to get behind. Okay. Press all these. And then we'll go back the other way. This block shouldn't take me long though, but I might not sew anymore today. We'll see. If my belly stops hurting, I might. I was supposed to go up tonight, so I need to get it done. My freaking finger is still hurting too where I scratched the fire out of it doing that block last night with a pen. Kinds of woes today, don't I? Woe is me. Woe is me. Stella up from her sleepover and then of course we went to Taco Bell which is probably the last thing I needed to do when my belly's hurting so bad but I did it anyway <laughs> uh, Stella had a good time her sleepover yellow I mean red and yellow red and yellow flying geese units what we need next And they're going to be made with the background for each.
What we got here? What we got her? Let me put this together. Pull all of these off. It is Sunday as I'm sewing this to go up tonight. I can put these big old scissors up for my last project. Done with those. Okay. Alright, let's cut these apart. And again, trim and press. Oh, yeah, the other ones are on there too. I already forgot about them. Finished ones. Press, press them, press them, press them. Isn't this fabric so pretty? Just love her fabric. not sure but it's June's block so that makes me think we've done six of them prior to this <sighs> if we started in January I don't even remember time flies when you're having fun right
kind of using a tone on tone a little bit. So I gotta watch my placement. There's those. I'm gonna have to get me some more nine patches to work with. And some background squares. There's a finished Irish chain block. And I'll grab some more nine patches real quick for my quilt on the side. Probably need to count these. See how much more I need. skipping stitches. Just saw one. I need to change that needle. I think we need to change. When my bobbin runs out, I'll change your needle. So it's getting low. Usually that fixes the situation. I've only seen one so far. I don't know why my stomach's hurting so freaking bad today. It's like literally hurting. All right. Now we've got those. We can start building our blocks on the red. Blue is going to go with background. And green is going to go with background. Blue is 
gonna go with background. And green is gonna go with background. And blue is gonna go with green. There's another Irish chain section. I'm going to press these to the solid blocks. Like this. Red with red. red. Why am I mixing? Why am I missing a red? Why am I missing a red? Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not missing a red. Okay, never mind. messed up again y'all blue with background why 
why do I have all this extra yellow? Why do I have all this extra yellow in these extra blocks? What the hey did I do? any idea how I managed to cut all that extra. No clue. I don't know if I just cut wrong or the instructions told me to cut too much. <laughs> At this point, it's a mood point, right? I guess I should check for y'all's benefit. And I got an extra square here, too. So I got four extra green and four extra blue. And I was only supposed to cut. I don't know. I still, I still don't know. I have a bunch of extra. <laughs> It was probably my misinterpretation of the instructions. I would not put it past me at all to do that. Oh, that sounds funky. That sounds funky. She's not happy about something. She is not happy about something. Let's press all of these. I put them aside. It's getting out of control. Okay. lost that point <laughs> Ooh, oh I did horribly lose that point I'm gonna rip that that's really bad I'll stare at that on the quilt when it's on my bed and just stare at it so let's release me from my prison and fix it go ahead and put some of these together while I do that. Wow. That one got way 
sorry, y'all. I rescued it, kind of. It's out, mostly. The very tippy tip tip is under there, but that won't grieve me as hard as the other one. And then I'm just trying to center up the center on these. I just did that wrong, didn't I? That last one. I don't think those two went together. No, uh, I did that wrong. Jack's getting a lot of air time today. the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Uh -huh. Let's get these pressed.
so cute. Love these. Adorable. Pretty. These actually all turned out, I mean, they're not perfect by any means, but they're pretty dang good for such a hot mess. I am. Okay, red is going to go with the green I'm not out of the woods yet I gotta get these lined up halfway decently and forwards, you know, white versus color things. I gave it away now, but uh, it was really cute. I actually gave it, I think, to Southern Mom. Do you remember when she had an unboxing channel? She doesn't do it anymore. It's been a couple of years ago. Oh my gosh, she's tired hurts so bad. Whew. All right. Uh, that turned out all right. My star legs are pretty well lined up. And, oh, not too shabby on this one either. Not too shabby. So yellow, red, okay. Our cutty corner from each other. Now let's see if we can get this center stitch lined up. side pieces. So I'm just going to have to old school this one out. Like a Neanderthal. I got to cut some more backgrounds for my Irish chain. This turned out so cute. I never moved y'all back. I'm so sorry. Dang it. See, I forgot to put this on my machine and you, I hope you didn't miss too much. Shoot, I'm so sorry. What a nincompoop I am. There we go. There's the finished. Isn't it cute? I love this block. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Some of my points are gone. Um, I don't really care. It's not perfectly lined up again. I just still think she's a stunner. What do y'all think? So sorry I didn't turn you back. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's or you like to watch an empty ironing board while I'm sewing to the side. I'll see y'all the next one.